Seafood Sunday, guys. And we having hogfish and we having lane snapper, okay? Yellowtail or, or lane, all right? Lane snapper. And we're grilling it, okay? So it's seasoned, guys. These are the seasonings that I used garlic powder, onion powder, chili powder, lemon. I put, I sprinkled some sazon. And this is the seasoning packet from Aldi's, guys. You remember the Aldi seafood boil bag that we did? Well, this was one of the packs, because remember, I bought three bags. Well, this was one of the bags that I had left over, and I just sprinkled some. All right, guys, and don't forget to tap, 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 and tap again the like, share, and subscribe button, guys, and the notification bell, okay? And I'll see you at the table, guys, all right? Look at how pretty. Look at how pretty. It is raining out here, okay? But I'm still grilling. Guys, do you see the banana tree? Let me walk over there real quick. Because I know you guys don't know, but I'm growing banana trees. Look at how beautiful they are. It's four in one. And then look at the corn that's back here, guys. The bird feeder. And there's squirrels that live here and sugar gliders that live up there, guys. I'm going to miss all this. But anyway, guys, I got the fish on the grill. All right. I'll see you at the table. See you at the table. Hey everybody, welcome back to another video, guys. It's Seafood Sunday. Ah, yeah, it's Seafood Sunday. Ah, yeah, it's Seafood Sunday. Ah, yeah. <laughs> guys, happy Sunday. You know what I got here? You saw the title. You saw the clips. Okay, this smells... Oh my God, this smells amazing, guys. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, this is amazing, guys. Oh, what I didn't show in the earlier clips was that I had a baked uh, potato. Okay, sweet potato. All right. Okay, I have avocado. Okay. All right, big birthdays in the house. Everybody say hello, hello. Big birthdays in the house. Everybody say hello, hello. Guys, let's have some fun. Let's have some fun. <laughs> you know I like having fun with it guys you already know but this hogfish right here guys is what I gotta get my teeth into but I have some avocado that I need to get in look how beautiful look at that whoa that I just wanna okay this is the avocados the small ones the Mexican ones that you buy that you make um the guacamole with guys so i'm just because it's real buttery these little ones are buttery okay what i want to do is just take this out okay because i want to eat it with my fish and i want to eat it with my sweet potato guys okay I was fasting practically all day yesterday, guys. I got some tea. I got some tea, guys, and I got some tea. <laughs> I'm going to try to be nice with the tea, okay? Because it's some serious shit going on. <laughs> all right, guys. All right. Let me get this jalapeno out of here, guys. This, this one is another one that Kenny made for me, but this one has jalapeno guys okay 
This one has jalapenos in it. And I want to take one out if I can. Look. Sliced. Look at that. Ooh, yes. Guys, I'm going to get the first bite. Chill. Chill. I'm going to take the first bite. Look at that. Let's get some avocado on that. Let's get some sweet potato on it. Guys, I'm eating with my hands, okay? That's what I want to do. Take that bite, guys, because I don't want to wait too long before giving you that first bite, okay? Take it. Oh my god that was amazing that first bite i'm hungry too guys i haven't eaten and i was fasting yesterday that's why i really didn't do no video no videos yesterday i could have done a video if i wanted to but i dedicated the day to god mm. i'm fasting guys okay you're gonna hear it first hear from me before you hear it from anybody i'm moving back i'm moving back to um new york okay so not to new york to connecticut okay mm. i'm working on getting a job over there all right. I'm going to be here. I'm going to be in Florida until the 21st of October. Okay. And that's the date that I'm shooting for. All right. That's the date that I'm shooting for because my daughter has a car that it's not good with long distance driving. Yeah. She's coming to get me. So she has a Subaru that needs a transmission. So she bought the transmission. The transmission was twenty five hundred. I told you it was some tea. She paid twenty five hundred for a transmission, okay, and other expenses that she's doing, so that she can come down and get me, you know, with a good car, because the car that she has right now is not good for long distance, and you know, from up from. Connecticut to New York to uh, Florida is what 19, 20, 20 hours, something like that, or oh, probably more. I don't know. She's going to be traveling with her significant other, okay, to come get me. And um, later on, guys, because I know you're going to be curious to know why she was doing so good in Florida. They always, there's always things that go on, you know what I mean, that you don't see on camera, that's happening behind camera, you know what I'm saying, and I'm the type of person, well, I wasn't like this, recently I've been working on this, all right, you don't, not, not let other things or anybody stop, stop me from doing what I do. And I currently do mukbangs, right? So let's say if, if, if I had a bad day or or something is going on around me, I didn't let it stop me from doing my videos. You understand? And um, because this is what I love doing. This is something that I love doing. You know what I'm saying to you? When I don't, when I don't come here, I feel some type of way. <laughs> All right, I feel some type of way, you know what I mean? Like yesterday, but yesterday what I did was, I was really, you know, in my own mind, you know, like preparing myself for 
what's coming you know what i'm saying to you you know a long trip okay this is so good y'all buttery oh my god i haven't even dug in into the lane mm. boom cheers guys happy sunday thank you for being here thank you for listening to my shit <laughs> <laughs> I see the camera moving that's sunny because I don't understand why you go go why are you over here for go because Charlie follows him you know it's gonna be a big transition too for my dog the new dog you know what I'm saying to you it's gonna be a big transition for him because you know, he came from a farm, you know, from country. He's going to be from country to city. He better adjust. He's a lap dog anyway, guys. And Kobe's used to it. You, Kobe's used to me bouncing back and forth. <laughs> and room for more. Hey, and room for more. Hey, and room for more. Nothing, nothing's going to stop me. The show still goes on. My life still goes on. You know? Sometimes this is the advice, you know what I mean? According to what I've, my experience, my personal experience. In life, you can try to, you know, help somebody. You can try to teach them verbally. Even teach them with your own actions. You know what I'm saying to you? But in this world, guys, there's people that are not teachable. Okay. They know what they need to do. They know what they need to do to change for better. Because you never tell anybody to change. Nobody needs to change for nobody. Okay? But if you can improve, okay, yourself for the better of the relationship, for the better of the goals, the ultimate goal, right? You know and you work on it. Okay, because I've been doing that for the past almost four years, guys. Coming on four years now in February. Okay. And I wasn't changing for nobody. I was changing for myself and changing for the better. You know what I'm saying to you? And I have. Okay, I have. You know what I mean? And people just, you know, you can't. You can't force nobody. You can take the horse, like you can take like that that saying that says, "You can take the horse to the water, but you can't make him drink." Same thing. You can take. Oh, this potato's hot. You can take the horse to the water, but you can't can't make him drink. And that's what's going on, guys. And that's just because I don't want to put. You know, all my business, you know, out here so everybody can know. Back to you know the show, I mean? guys. Back to the show. I forgot to clean the damn storage. <laughs> and I ran out of space, guys. I ran out of space. But I stopped eating. I stopped eating. You know why? Because I was in the middle of letting you guys know that you can't change people. If they don't want to change, they don't want to change. But you know what? Don't stay. Don't stay stagnant. You know what I mean? Don't let nobody bring you down. You know what I mean? I have room for more. Don't let anyone, you know, take away from what you want to do for you. You understand what I'm saying to you? I know I'm not. I'm not. I got a family, children, grandchildren. I have a goal, guys, and my goal, my ultimate goal is to stay clean. That's number one for me. Number two, continue to love myself and put myself first. Those are my, <clears throat> those are my two priorities, okay? And three, guys, is to just be at peace. I know nothing's perfect. You know what I'm saying to you? I understand all that. You know what I mean? But when you see that a person or people are causing stress in your life, okay, and you see no change, no nothing, 
You move on. Mm. That was a bung. You move on. I need another one of these. You move on. Don't stay. Okay? Because no one should be a liability in a relationship. You should always bring something to the table. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter what it is. It doesn't matter what it is. Okay? It doesn't have to necessarily be money. Okay? Or material things. Mm. I fish my... It doesn't have to be money or material things. Okay? That's not what I'm saying. I don't want people to misinterpret what I'm saying. Because remember, I got people watching me. <laughs> watching what I say on this channel. It's just hilarious. It's too funny. <clears throat> so... I shan't not waste any more time. <laughs> I'm silly. <laughs> I'm so silly, guys. I tell you, my sense of humor is just for me. Now, let's tear into this fish. This snapper here. Remove this. Because you need to see this. Ooh. You need to see this. Wait. How am I going to... Oh, it's hot. Ooh. Wee. Ooh. Mmm. Damn. Mmm. That was hot. Wow. Okay, let's get this skin open, guys. Let's take the skin off. Guys, I seasoned it just like I with the same seasonings I seasoned the um, the hogfish with. I used for the snapper here, okay, guys. Oh yes, and I've never made it whole like this. This type of fish, anyway. I did grouper whole. Did I do hogfish whole? I think I did. I'm not sure, but I've never done this fish whole on the grill. And when Kevin caught it last week, right? Because we went fishing on Tuesday. When he caught it, that I saw it immediately. My my first immediate thought was grill. I'm grilling it. I'm grilling it. And I don't put it on the grill. Like, I wrap it with aluminum foil. Guys, that's my own sickness. That's my own mind. Okay? Some people just you know clean the you know like brush the grill and then you know like spray it and then cook right directly on the grill i don't like that if i go to a cookout and i see anybody cooking anything without any aluminum foil on it i won't eat i won't eat and it's not personal it's not, it don't mean that they're clean or that they're dirty that's just me <laughs> mm -mm. Maybe in a brand new grill. I might. I don't know. I will have to test it out. <laughs> it's good. It's not as good as the hogfish, guys. Mm -mm. This is not one of my favorite fishes. It tastes good, but it's not. Mm -mm. I'm seeing I used the same seasoning, guys, on purpose. Because I wanted to see... If hogfish was still my favorite. Actually, my favorite is the striped bass. Hogfish is my second favorite. Okay? Hogfish is my second favorite. Striped bass in New York. Oh, my goodness. The bomb. The bomb. <laughs> the bomb.com. Mm. Oh, my God. Ain't nothing like fresh fish, man. Ain't nothing like fresh fish, Lord. Wow. I'm going to be so sad when I'm going to want to fish and I'm not going to be able to fish it because it's going to be winter cold. Guys, 
I'm leaving just before winter starts. Before winter really starts. <laughs> so, crazy. But this time we're doing it right. I'm not leaving my things behind. Okay. My daughter's coming. I'm going to put all my stuff in the trailer. A hitch. And um, attach it to her car. And we're gonna turn into we're gonna turn it into something positive. On our way driving back up, we're gonna eat in many different places. It may not be like a whole meal, but we're going to like wherever we stop, we're gonna stop and we're gonna buy something. Even if it's Dunkin' Donuts or whatever. Whatever's on the you know how they do how they have um truck stops when you're traveling. We're going to stop in truck stops. I'm not going to eat this because I don't really like it. I don't like it at all. I, I You know I ain't coming out. I'm not coming in here lying to you. Mm -mm. That's why I made both of them. Because if I would have made this, just this one, I would have been mad. It wouldn't have been no seafood Sunday. Even though I live by there's no failed video. But still. Okay? I would have been tight. I would have been tight, okay? Yes. Only thing I caught last week was two Remoras, guys. <laughs> two Remoras. <laughs> you know the, the Remoras that stick on sharks? I caught two, okay? Kevin caught this one, and he caught the two hogs, all right? That's because I'm, I haven't been fishing the way I was, you know what I mean? Like, you got to constantly... Uh, and room for more hey and room for more you gotta constantly fish because you lose it you know what i'm saying too you lose it so since i haven't been consistently fishing lately because i know that i'm leaving i've been new this for a couple of months i just didn't want to come here and um let you go let you guys know because you know i wanted to see the plans and make sure that the plan was gonna you know what i'm saying to you like i don't like to say anything unless i know that it's gonna really happen you know what i'm saying to you i learned that lesson too in life <laughs> don't say shit until you know it's happening but anyway it is what it is i'm not gonna eat this fish uh-uh I didn't like it, guys. And it has the same seasonings that the hogfish, you that I use for the hogfish. It's not the f seasoning. It's just that type of fish. And the flavor that it has, I don't like it. And believe it or not, I've had this fish fried, and I knew it. But I said, you know, maybe maybe the, maybe the get taste better, or maybe the change when I, you know, if I grill it or whatever. Nope, I still don't like it. <laughs> Guys, if you watched me all the way through, kudos, 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 because you could have been doing something else, but you watched me all the way through, and you already know that I am thankful, I am grateful, and continue to stay with Gramita Love. You are a part of my recovery. You are part of a movement, okay? I'm not the only one in this world in recovery, guys. It's millions of us in recovery, guys. Mm -hmm. and, with, and millions of us with a rougher story than mine. Oh, wait. Oh, I needed it. Guys, I keep t taking this straw so I can use it because the ice on my teeth. Oh, we. And guys, I take care of my teeth, guys. I'm real... I'm real funny with my teeth, guys. I real, I really am. It's almost done, and then I use it. Whatever, guys. You already know, guys. Be kind to yourself first, and be kind to others, okay? And let's spread some love to everyone we come in contact with, okay? I love you. Bye-bye.